the apps. Can a black guy do well in Romania? You can do well. I think you can do perfectly fine. However, you're going to be an anomaly. You're going to be the only one, my friend. Just keep that in mind. Everyone's going to instantly know you're not Romanian, which means if you get into even an inkling of trouble, now you're a target. Because they're yeah. going to go, ah, he ain't from here. That yeah. means I can shoot him in the head and I'll get away with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to the OG, Andrew Tate. Love him or hate him. The man makes some very, very polarizing content statements, whatever you want to say about it. Also, let me make sure that I note this. Andrew Tate is actually black, okay? His dad is black, so he black. Yes, his mother may be white, and yes, he may be white passing, but damn it, Andrew Tate is black. He one of us, all right? So I think he is more than qualified to speak on how black men would be treated in Romania should they actually go there. And to be honest with you, I never really heard too many brothers or anybody for that fact talking about traveling to Romania, Romania as a place to visit and or stay until Andrew Tate came around. And he said that he was living, I think it's in Bucharest, uh, Romania, right? Nobody was even remotely talking about Romania until Andrew Tate came on the scene. If there was, they, they, they voices was not loud at all, Okay. And so he brings up great points about, you know, traveling to a place like Romania. You don't necessarily hear a lot of uh, brothers in general talking about traveling to Romania or traveling to the European countries. Yeah, maybe they'll slide into Germany and, you know, you heard good things about how they treat brothers in Germany and stuff like that. But in other European countries, maybe even Italy, you've heard some good things. And there's probably a couple of others, 100 percent. But you just don't hear them talking about it often because that's not where they're going. So... He said, when you go as a brother, as a black man, let's keep it a buck, man. You're going to be one of one, likely, or one of very few. You're going to be the anomaly. You're going to stick out like a sore thumb in a country that's predominantly white. <laughs> I mean, did you, did, you, did you think it was going to be any different? That's the question I would ask you. But, you know, you go to a country like that, you stand out like a sore thumb, and he mentions just the inkling of getting in trouble. And this is one thing that um, is always an interesting topic of conversation because, you know, I would hope that everybody who travels is on their best behavior. But sometimes you just find yourself in the most awkward, awkward of situations. Maybe you're dealing with a young lady that has a man or a boyfriend and that could be the end of it. I think there was a situation a while back. And please, please correct me if I'm wrong. But I do believe that there was a brother. I don't know if he was actually from Greece or he was just visiting Greece, but I think he got into a little bit of a scuffle with some of the local guys and they beat him to death or something to that effect. I can't remember the story off the top of my head, but there was a brother that went to Greece and he did not make it back. He was either from there or he went there and he did not make it back. Um, and who knows what exactly happened? Cause I, like I said, I don't remember the story off the top of my head, but when you go to these countries that are predominantly white, you got to make sure you're on your best behavior. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird because, you know, I think you are interested in opening your minds to and or dating in those particular countries while you're there. Or at least, you know, seeing what the uh, options there are for you. I think that's kind of what a lot of men travel for, options wise. But you just have to be more careful than you would be in probably any other place in the world. Right? If we're just going to be truthful. Like, if you go to the Philippines... I believe Filipinos and black people are one in one, right? I believe they are one in the same. We relate on damn near all levels. I've made videos about it in my past content catalog. You can find them if you want to. I'll try to tag them if I can find them. But, you know, we, we kind of on the same page. So for a brother like myself to go to a place like the Philippines and fit in, that's light work. That's easy. Thailand, light work. That's easy. Even Japan, you might say it's hit and miss, but I do believe that overall you will have a satisfactory. <laughs> visit to the country you know you got people talking about dr columbia you know what it is in those places too but when we start what i would like to say charting in uncharted waters <laughs> or waters that have been treaded very lightly and you don't really have a blueprint or a way to navigate your way through it chances are it might be a little difficult for you to be able to navigate your way through that in a sense that you feel comfortable enough to do it now, your confidence and all of that stuff, you know, the way you smile, your personality and all that stuff can carry you for sure. But all it takes is for you to talk to the wrong one and you can get in trouble, right? My man said, just often you like it ain't shit. 
And that is one of my biggest fears. Going to a place where in, and this is true when it comes to traveling, and I think a lot of brothers need to take this into consideration. All of my traveling brethren need to take this into consideration. Going to a place where you don't know how they're going to react and how they're going to act and, you know, how they're going to receive you. And, you know, chances are a lot of us don't give fuck about it in the first place. But, again, it doesn't matter how they personally feel. If they know that they could get away with yeeting and deleting like it ain't shit, I would rather not see you put yourself in a situation like that. So, although he says, yeah, you could probably get you a lot of love, you're the anomaly, you're probably the one of one, uh, one of very few in the country, and you know, you could work out, you got to look at the downside of that too. You got to look at the, the potential, okay, this may happen too. If this happens, right? For every good, there's a bad. And I mean, for every pro, there's a con. And that happens with travel anywhere in the world that you go. So, you know, you just have to make sure you keep that into consideration. I don't know how many of my guys are looking to travel to a place like Romania. I don't know how many of my guys have been to a place like Romania. For whatever reason it is. Maybe just for leisure travel. I don't know how many people are going there for the vacations because you don't hear about it a lot. But maybe it's for leisure travel. Maybe it was a military thing. Maybe it was whatever. For whatever reason you went there, I would love to hear about your experiences because this is a new one for me. Like I said, this is uncharted water for me. I don't hear about it. I could probably find maybe a YouTube video or two, but ultimately this is this is not something that you hear a lot of us or a place that a lot of, you know, my fellow brethren are looking to go. Maybe it's just not as attractive on paper as other countries like, you know, South America and of course Southeast Asia. It's just not as how can I say this, appealing to the senses, you know, on paper, but somebody had to go, <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody had to step on the, you know, step the ground and, you know, go in and walk it out, so I would love to hear your experiences, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to drag this one on, but I appreciate you locking in, would love to hear what you guys got to say in the comment section below, if you guys enjoyed the content, man, and you want to put a couple dollars on the Good Docs books, there's a thank you button down there at the bottom. I'd highly appreciate that. Cash App, PayPal, man. We're trying to build the content up, and we're damn sure trying to build up the platform. Because, ladies and gentlemen, going into the next years and the years to come, oh, yeah, I'm riding for y'all this year. Gentlemen, I'm riding for y'all. And I do this for y'all. I do this for us. And I love having these conversations, man. If this is something you want to be behind 100%, highly appreciate that one. All I really do ask for you to do, drop that like. Make sure you subscribe. You know, make sure you share the content, man. Make sure other people are aware of what we got going on over here and the types of conversations we got going on over here. Because, again, I'm all about my passport community, all about my traveling brothers. And you know what it is, man. I will always ride for y'all. 100. All right? So y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, yo. Doc is out. Peace.